Hello, everyone, and welcome to the lesson. I'm very excited. We are going to get a lesson on geometry. And it could be that you recognize some of, some of this information from other lessons, and it could be that you might know some of this information. So if you do, you could just go ahead and um, um, just follow along. And when I'm ready for you guys to join in, you could just raise your hand and contribute to the conversation, okay? So for the past, last month, we spent some time learning about lines. Remember that? Let's go ahead and take out a pencil. If you have a pencil nearby, let's go ahead and grab our pencil, okay? I'm going to say a direction of a line, and you are going to hold up the pencil in that direction, okay? Ready, set, horizontal. Excellent. Ready? Oblique. Beautiful. Vertical. Amazing. Let's do one with two pencils now. If you have two, we're going to practice some of the terms about relationships between lines, okay? Um, could you please make your lines parallel? Amazing. Could you please make your lines intersecting? Beautiful. You guys are rock stars. What about convergent? Convergent lines. Mm -hmm. They start far apart and they meet. And the opposite is divergent. Could you make divergent lines? They start together and they move apart. You guys are rock stars, amazing. Today, we're gonna to continue learning about lines, but in a different way, because we're gonna actually continue our unit on polygons, okay? So I'm going to show you my work area over here, and I'd like you to just observe what I'm doing. And when I'm done building my shape, I would like one of you guys, or you could all raise your hand to state your observation about what you see in this shape, okay? So without further ado, Welcome to my work area. Okay, all of these colors, they're all the same line, the same length, okay? Let's start. Could you please raise your hand if you can guess what, if you can explain to me um, or express an observation. Number three, go ahead. Number three. Um, well, there are all of them are, all of the sides are touching. That's right. They're all touching. Every single corner is touching. Excellent. Number seven, could you tell me if you have another observation about this particular shape? Um, all the lines are touching. They're straight. Um, it's flat, so that means 2D and um <laughs> are you looking at your notes? <laughs> Amazing. I forgot the last one. You are correct. It is a 2D shape. All the lines are touching and the lines are straight. Number five, did you want to tell me some of your observations? Oh sorry. Were you in the middle? What did you say? Not it's not curved. That's right. Number number five, go ahead. It is indeed a polygon. And um, all that number seven said too. Okay, number num all that number seven said. Okay, so number seven, number five agrees with you. All right, number four, you can go ahead and state some of your observations. Um, it has straight lines, three corners, and it's a polygon. <laughs> that is correct. Number one, what were you gonna say? I was going to say the same as number five. Wait, could you sit so that your face is in the camera so we could see you? <laughs> there you are. There you are. You were going to say the same as number five. Excellent. All right, number two, what were you going to share? And then number six, I'll get to you. I was going to say it is a very cool shape. A very cool shape. Well, thank you, number two. I appreciate that. What about you, number six? What were you going to say? <laughs> um... I was going to say it, it is made of 
straight line. It's a polygon. That's right. It is a polygon. Number five. Hold on one second. Let me build my second shape and I want to see if you can share some more observations. Okay. Second shape. Um, number one, make sure you're looking at the screen. Okay. Second shape is the same color, a different color and they're all the same length. So go ahead and watch what I'm building. All right. What do you notice about this shape? Number one, go ahead. That it is another polygon and it's made out of straight lines. That's right. Okay, before I take any more, um, any more observations, I wanna ask you guys something. Did you notice that these were actually made with the same length lines? Did you notice that? Thumbs up if you notice that. That's right. These type of shapes that are all created with the same length lines and the lines are straight and they're closed are called regular polygons. You can all unmute and say regular polygons. Go ahead. Regular, regular polygons. Polygon. That's right, regular, regular polygons. Regular polygons. A regular polygon meets all of the definitions of the polygon in general, and it has one more description, which is the lines need to be the same length. Okay? Does anyone here have a question about regular polygons? Ava, number two. Do, um, do they always have to be closed and always have to be the same length? Let's take a look in our card and see if we can find the answer, right? I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen because I'm gonna show you a chart. There are eight regular polygons in the world. Oh, actually, number seven already printed it out. Go ahead and show it up to the screen, number seven. Where'd you find this card, number seven? My playlist, and I didn't even have to go to the card because the card we had last week had it. That's right, you already had it. So number seven, could you hold up that chart again to the, to the, um, yeah, there you are. Okay, so um, number seven printed out the chart. These are all eight regular polygons, okay? And you guys are going to build these eight regular polygons with either your geometric stick box, if you have it. If you do not have a geometric stick box like me, for example, I just made different length um, lines, but I made sure that that it was color coded. So my pink lines are all the same length. My yellow lines were all the same length. And I basically created like a little mini stick box. And I created and labeled all eight regular polygons with my, with my paper sticks over here. And I'm going to ask you guys to begin that follow up. We'll work on it for about five minutes, okay guys? And you, you have permission to unmute yourselves and chat with one another as you build. You do not have to build them in order that's in the chart. You can start with the octagon and work your way backward. It's really up to you. But if you could please point your camera to your work area so I can watch the shapes that you're building, that would be best. Um, if you have any questions, raise your hand. Otherwise, you have permission to begin the follow-up activity. And remember, you have permission to unmute and chat with one another. Um, did you have a question, number one? Yes. My question is, can I turn my camera off so I can um, print out the worksheet? Yes, you can definitely do that. And then make sure you turn it right back on so I can watch you as you build, okay? Okay. Um, number two, did you have a question? Go ahead. Yes, can I be on the floor for this? Yes, you should absolutely be on the floor for this. Because it is very messy. Yes. And number six is all set. Look at that. He's got his work area set up. Did you have a question, number six? Um, in the card, um, I do not see the... Um... You don't see the chart? Yeah. Hmm. It's in step number one. Do you see it in step number one?
you see that? Can I, can I ask you a question? Number seven, if you're anyway, have your computer screen open, can you do me a favor? You found it number six? Okay, good. All right, number seven, I'm gonna share my screen. Could you read the instructions for us, please, for the card? Sure. You see it? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Number one. Um, use your geometric box of stick materials. You can print this above or other materials that represent lines, such as spaghetti noodles. Popsicle sticks or strings to build, to build and label these eight different polygons. You can copy the words from the document below or print and cut out the labels. Mm -hmm. What's the next one say? Capture a photo of your work below. Watch mm -hmm. the lesson here. Now this it's step is optional. Where it says watch the lesson here, you don't have to do this step, okay? And next one, uh, number seven. If you are finished early, you may create a piece of art rushing using um, regular polygons looking at the picture below for ideas. So for example, you can create um, number seven. I put this one in for you. Or sorry, number five, because it has a parrot, picture of a parrot. I know you have a parrot at home. But you can create this, this rabbit, okay? Um, number one, go ahead. It's not printing out the full entire paper. Okay, so just start with what shows, um, number one. Like, for example, what's the first shape in that chart? The only ones that it shows is heptagon, octagon, nonagon, pentagon. I don't know what this one says. What, is this? what does this one say? A quadrilateral or a square. Okay, so just... And, just the, and the triangle. Yeah, just build those shapes. Just build and label those shapes to start with, okay? okay. Did, you have a, did you have a question, number three? Yes, um, do we have to print it out? No, you don't have to print it out. Okay. Number, number seven, are you getting started on building those shapes? Because I know you have a geometric stick box, so let's go ahead. I want to be able to see your work, so make sure you're pointing your camera down, okay? And number four and I are in the same boat. We're both cutting, and number two, actually. We're both, and number three. <laughs> We're all cutting out our own paper links. Looks great, number four. Um, number two, could you tilt your camera down a bit so that I could see your work? Number two, could you point your camera down a bit so I could see your work? Yeah, go ahead, number two. You can ask your question. Um, I would, but I can't get this thing printed out. You don't have to print it. You could just look at the picture on altitude. Okay. Yeah, number one's got his triangle. Number five already has three. Number seven, what are you working on over there? Um, Looks like you printed out the... What? I don't know which one to choose first. You could do an order. You could just start with, the, if that's, that's easy, you could just start with that, like the triangle you could start with. Number five, did you have a question? Um, can I just do the uh, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, and heptagon? Yeah, you could just do that as a start for now, and you can finish it later if you want. Just make sure okay. you lab make sure you label it, okay? Okay. Like number four is getting that label written. You could write it in, 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 hand, in um, cursive. Look at this gorgeous work going on here. Hmm. Number seven, if you're feeling stuck, like you're not sure how to start, I would just do an order. So start with the triangle and then build up. But could you make sure that it, your camera is tilted like number one so I could see the full work area? Yeah, perfect. Right. Go ahead and walk over to your geometric stick box so that we could see you build your polygons. Can I just use these? Yeah, um, you can use the 10 bars if you want, but if you, I actually would recommend if you have the stick box, use the stick box for sure, for sure. Cause, cause number seven, I wish I had a stick box. It's much easier to do it. But if you're going to work like that, just make sure you're like lying on your belly so we could see um, your face as you work, okay?